Hey everyone and welcome to week 42 of the OLED burning test. This is a weekly burning test that I run on my LG C9 OLED. You can see model name just there, OLED 65C9 PLA. As you can see just down here, UTT, which is the hours used, is 1,579. And the mini pixel refresh count is on 293 and major pixel refresher is one. So with that, let's exit out and I will restart the test. So for those who are watching this for the first time maybe, as I say, this is a weekly burning test that I actually run on my LG C9 OLED. This was purchased in February of 2020 and basically I've been using it throughout COVID lockdown um, pretty much just for, for gaming. Um, it's had a lot of sports usage as well as a lot of mixed usage as well. Uh, for the first, maybe I'd say 100, 200 hours, we were quite mindful with what type of content we were using it for. So any gaming or any static content, we tried our best to switch out games, switch out content as much as possible. But to be perfectly honest, once it went beyond say 200 hours, um, at that stage, basically we just used it as we would any normal TV. Um, the main idea behind these particular videos is just to give people uh, an actual idea in terms of how these OLED TVs actually react to normal, normal usage essentially. So this one, as I say, most of the 1500 hours that it's got on it, and obviously recently there hasn't been much, much of a difference between week to week. Uh, main reason for that is basically kids are back at school. Um, I'm, I've been working throughout uh, the whole period anyway, but basically my shifts at work are kind of weird. So because of that, um, and also obviously sports have kind of been interrupted uh, on, on and off as well. So for that reason, basically it's just not had much usage recently. Um, the usage that it has had in the past week has probably been sport. So it's had maybe three or four games worth of um, football. Um, it's Other than that, it's mainly been gaming. Um, we've watched a couple of TV shows, so Mandalorian we're watching as we go along. And obviously, as I've, I've said in previous videos, you're going to be seeing this much later than when it was actually filmed. So today is actually Friday the 4th of December. You will be seeing this sometime in maybe either January or February. Main reason for that is simply because of how I schedule it. Um, I record them every Friday, but I can't always publish them the same Friday. And because of that, it kind of threw off the whole kind of uh, scheduling. And since then, basically, it's it's just been a bit of a mess. So now what I do is I just schedule it for every Friday. Um, I film one and then one goes live. So today's basically hasn't actually gone live just yet. It's only four o'clock. I believe it's either five or six o'clock they'll actually go live. Um, as you can see from the actual burn test, I've got no issues with the panel whatsoever. Um, it's, it's pretty much been in the same way as we've, we've had pre our previous TVs, which were plasmas. Uh, I actually had two LG plasmas, no, no reason for actually getting LG again, other than the fact that this was basically, um, the best spec TV. So the C9 with four, uh, full bandwidth HDMI ports at that time was simply the best spec and also the OLED technology meant that in this particular room because we do have seating on either side it means that nobody gets a worse picture by sitting off center that's something that obviously not many people discuss with QLED um, also I just wanted that perfect black and every movie and every TV show that we watch back on this TV um, since purchasing it is is basically so much better than when we watch the same thing um, in the other room on a standard uh, LED um, edge lit TV. I, granted, there are QLEDs and other LED TVs out there that uh, utilize full array backlights, so that they will perform better, but none of them will actually get as close to this um, in terms of pure blacks. So that's, that's something where, obviously, once you've experienced OLED, it's, it's something that is, it, it can only be witnessed. You can't really describe it or show it on these particular videos because depending on what device you're actually watching on you, it might not even be capable of p producing those pure blacks um, 
this has cycled through a few times. What I do is I always let this run through once fully um, on this same uh, test video. For those that are maybe wanting to do a test, OLED test or just a burning test um, on their own devices, I do actually have a video on my channel that um, I created a similar burning test. I also have a blooming test as well. Um, both of these will be linked in the TV and videos playlist on my channel. So if you just go into that playlist, you'll, you'll see there's quite a lot of videos. So there's a lot of information there, especially for the OLEDs. I will also be doing a video um, answering my most common questions with regards to OLED TVs because I, I find that I keep getting the same questions asked over and over again and basically no matter how many times I answer them um, people still ask this, those same questions so I did a burning t uh, a video with regards to how to prevent burning and that always throws up the same sort of questions so what I will be doing is a follow-up video where I just give you answers to all the most common questions asked. Okay, so we're just going past the six minute mark. This test is normally around six minutes, but I did use it for a little bit at the start as well before I reset it. So it should be ending about, about now. So as you can see, 42 weeks in, uh, over 1500 hours, and it's still pretty much perfect. And this is obviously during lockdown, so we've, we've used it more than you probably would during a normal sort of um, normal period. So this is probably maybe I'd say a year to a year, year and a half worth of usage uh, with over a thousand hours of gaming.